le meilleur est à venir. Le best is yet to come. I don't know if that's true, but then this is the movie we're talking about. Uh, Fabrice Lucchini, Arthur, aka Arthur in the movie, uh, Patrick Bruel, Cesar, are the main characters of what is a an interesting tragic comedy. It has an interesting ending, and spoiler alert, that is if anybody's watching so far. Um, I will mention the ending uh, sometime later, near the ending. I guess not. Um, I was thinking that maybe Fabrice Lucchini has reached near perfection. There is no perfection, but maybe he has reached it. Um, <laughs> in the sense that there is the old, um, a few centuries old um, debate between what does the actor uh, do to approach a role. Is he going to what sometimes they say mistakenly, or his his all heart there, his his involved his emotional, his his leaving it and things like that, or use the head and be cerebral and uh, look like he has all the passion in the world, look like he's intensely in love, but using the head, something like that. I'm. I'm not uh, surely the one to put in the best words um, um, what is a fundamental um, contrast in and what they uh, have to study in schools of acting. Sure, their methods, method acting, and so on, as, as you know. So maybe <laughs> Fabrice Lucchini is so has perfected this detachment, which is the best approach. You don't have to, oh, I'm leaving it. I am, I am, I am into character. I'm passionate. No, forget passion and, and use the head. That's what I understand is the best approach. So he's using a head and he's so detached that uh, <laughs> maybe he has reached. On the other hand, it sometimes gives me the impression that it, it, it's that is a word, artificious, he's a bit over the top, he's uh, been there so much that uh, it's like he's uh, studying this, he has studied this role, this character, and, and then he has studied himself studying it and in a loop, you, I don't know if you see what I mean, because I don't know what I mean. Uh, so this happens here too. It, it, it's a bizarre impression that yes, this is a very uh, complex uh, actor into uh, much more than acting. He's not just one of those uneducated, we have so many. Uh, talented, some of them, but many. I'm thinking Vin Diesel for some reason. I have no offense, but uh, The Rock, the man who took. Uh, uh, the highest paycheck. I mean, he made the most money a few years ago. Now I was wondering. I don't see him as an actor. How come? Well, there it is. Um, so th this is the opposite. For Fabrice Lucchini, I saw him at uh, Not Beyond the Culture. He surely was there too. Aha! Uh -huh. Bernard Pivot. But at uh, La Grande uh, Librairie. And he was um, evidently erudite, uh, cultivated. He was uh, talking a lot about, about many things and uh, uh, culture. So there you have it, a, a, a Renaissance man, a, a complete intellectual, doing, um, uh, having performances on stage, on, in, in, in movies. Yeah, uh, but also reading a lot, uh, doing other other things. Uh, 
So, the plot in the movie reminds one, reminds me of um, the bucket list. Jack Nicholson, Morgan Freeman, so, Meg plus Ultra, Creme de la Creme, but alas, a failed movie. That one. This one, I don't see it as failed, but it's neither what Lucini or other great artists uh, offer at their best. Uh, mm, a misunderstanding, uh, one gets the diagnosis of the other, the two best friends, and then um, they each try and um, support the other um, on the last track in this life. One thinks mistakenly, um, Cesar thinks Arthur is going to die, uh, but he's wrong. And Arthur knows the truth, that it is in fact Cesar who's going to die. They're not reconciled. They, uh, one has not found the strength to tell the other about this. And so there are some intense moments, some funny moments. Uh, uh, Artur is kissing his friend in a restaurant, and then the waiter says, well, can you do this in another place, or can you restrain? And then there's a scene, and <laughs> it's maybe funny. I thought it a bit strange. There are some strange moments in, in this film, too. Um, and um, finally, to come to the end, because uh, we have some things to go through today, I guess, uh, other notes to do. Uh, it, it, it is interesting. So, as we know from the beginning, Cesar dies. But being uh, outre, uh, inventive, um, amusing, and so on, such a great guy, he has a message beyond the grave. They, they played with wishes. You say what, I, what you do now. Okay, let's go to Biarritz. Okay, then I say how we do it. And he's, he's stealing his own car. He left his car for, for a loan as a, as a guarantee for a loan. So now he's stealing his own car. Crazy things like that. Uh, so there's a last wish beyond the grave. Um, Arthur speaks, gives the eulogy at the grave. Uh, and there's this woman who comes um, with, a mess, with an envelope from his departed friend. And he, he says, Conaro, uh, tu vas... Uh, uh, I don't have the words. Attaché avec cette femme, because Pascal said, pour toi, c'est la femme de ta vie. Think so. so you go with this woman. I'm telling you, it's mine. Yeah? Run. Are, are you not running yet? And don't tell her about the drink. Take her hand and kiss her. So things like that. And indeed, our friend is, is going there. So that's, that's a strange mixed ending with sorrow. The man has just died. I mean, has died. A few days ago, we don't bury you exactly after you die, unless, of course, you're in a region where you, they have to, because it's a hundred degrees outside Celsius. And so the ending was interesting. The movie, not very good. Maybe just good. <laughs>